And welcome to another edition of Your Health with MU Healthcare on AM 1340 KXEO. have a uh, doctor joining me this morning. And uh, if you would, uh, tell everybody who you are and uh, what you do here at MU Healthcare. Yeah, thank you for having me. My name is Dr. Kunal Malhotra. I'm one of the nephrologists, a kidney doctor at MU Healthcare. And I've been here for seven years. I was trained in nephrology here and then I joined the faculty. Um, and I practice here in Columbia with my colleagues, and I have also have outreach clinic in Fulton. Oh, absolutely. Uh, could you tell us what are some of the main contributing factors of kidney disease, if we could start off there? Sure. So uh, one of the biggest risk factors for kidney disease is diabetes, and num- number second is hypertension. And then there are other causes like uh, inflammatory disease and certain medications like one of the most common being ibuprofen which can affect kidney disease but by far and most diabetes and hypertension are the main causes of kidney disease in the country. Understand. Uh, there's some statistics that are kind of alarming for kidney disease in Missouri from the CDC. Can you share some of those with us this morning? Yes. Um, so uh, the kidney uh, C- CDC came out with national statistics of uh, kidney mortality rate and uh, it mentions that Missouri actually has a lot of uh, death due to kidney disease and it ranks number fifth in the country for uh, death by kidney disease at 19.6 percent death rate. Wow and uh, what are some of the symptoms that you might be suffering from kidney disease if you'll share that with us? Yes so uh, the unfortunate thing is that many people don't even know that they have kidney disease until it's too late. This is because um, the kidneys uh, do overcome a lot of the functional aspect of uh, your symptoms and manage to do whatever they can with decreasing function. People usually come to know about their kidney disease in late stage 4 or stage 5. And what we want is patients to be referred to us when they have stage 3 or early, even earlier kidney disease. And that is the time when people are uh, going to their primary care doctors for different medical problems, most commonly diabetes and hypertension. And with use of very basic, simple blood and urine tests, they can find out if they have kidney disease or not. How often do you think that people should be screened for, uh, for kidney disease? Yes, so uh, every time somebody goes to a primary care office, uh, they check blood sugar, uh, uh, blood pressure, and if they have uh, risk factors, they are screened for diabetes. If you know that somebody has diabetes and high blood pressure, then uh, usually the primary care doctors, they do a blood test, which checks, checks for renal function and a simple urine test to check for protein in the urine. And with these tests, they can know that if they have risk factor for kidney disease and be referred to us. So we were talking, you were talking a little bit about uh, seeing people with stage four, stage five. Is it too late at that point for the kidney transplant or, uh, you know, at what stage would you be most likely to get a, a transplant for a kidney? Yeah, so... Um, let me so the kidney disease starts stage one goes to stage two stage three stage four and the last stage is stage five which is also called as end stage renal disease that is the time where people need either a kidney transplant or uh, go on dialysis and usually uh, we talk about these options when people are in stage four to prepare them for what options they have and what they want to do when the time comes uh, to just back off a little bit, um, the symptoms at that stage uh, usually are swelling in the legs where people are getting uh, fluid overloaded and they get swelling in the face, around the eyes or swelling in the legs. Their blood pressure may be getting uncontrolled. Uh, They may be having vague symptoms like nausea, vomiting, decreased appetite, uh, shortness of breath because of fluid accumulation in the lungs. Um, which these symptoms can be due to other causes as well. But that's, again, when you find out they have kidney disease, you put two and two together and re- make the referral. Yeah, are there some things that you can do to keep uh, good kidney health exercise, maybe? Uh, this is a very good question on how to prevent kidney disease and, more importantly, how to prevent deterioration in kidney function when somebody is diagnosed with kidney disease. And in that, education is plays a key role. Number one, we should avoid the risk factor which leads to kidney disease, which includes better control of diabetes, better control of blood pressure to uh, the required goal, 
if people have heart disease then controlling heart disease and uh, seeing heart specialist to control their cardiac function is very important uh, staying away from medications that can hurt kidney disease is very important and in my clinic i frequently all the time review the medication list and many times i have to stop certain medications and also re redosing the medication because think of it all the medications go through the kidney and if your kidney function is decreased those medications accumulate in your body so you may not require the same dose and may require a lesser dose and that varies by different medication but that's one of the uh, role a physician plays in looking at those things other things include uh, cardiovascular risk factor modification which includes uh, ob uh, preventing obesity weight reduction uh, stopping smoking is very important and uh, moderate alcohol consumption so i know that there is an upcoming event uh, a kidney walk coming up in colombia in april uh, that people can take a part of yeah so national kidney foundation uh, organizes kidney walks in various cities and keep healthy healthy screenings in various cities and there's one coming up in colombia in april uh, which people can come uh, take part in and learn more about kidney disease at that time absolutely april 27th and it's going to be at uh, stevens lake park and uh, we'll keep an eye on that, and we'll bring you more details on that as it uh, comes a little bit closer. Uh, if people want to get a hold of you here at MU Healthcare, wh what's the best way to do that? So the best way to do that would be, uh, number one, to get talk to their f uh, physicians, primary care doctors, because that's where most of the referrals come. And number two, if uh, they want to call us directly, they can call uh, Medicine Specialty Clinic at uh, Missouri University. And uh, the number uh, for that is 573-882-8788. Well, we want to thank you for your time today. Thank you so much and uh, hope to visit with you again in the future, sir. Uh, thank you so much. And as I said, prevention is the key. And the earlier you are diagnosed, the better uh, you can do to prevent the kidney disease from progressing further. Absolutely. Great information this morning, and it's been another segment of Your Health with MU Healthcare on AM 1340 KXEO.